Hello Internet. Uh, a few of y'all had questions about how the RC4G car was set up um, and I didn't really provide a lot of explanation so I figured I would just fill that in right here. Uh, the core of this obviously is an Arduino. It's an Arduino Uno to be exact uh, but you probably could have guessed that from the images. Um, and it was powered by a 3 cell LiPo battery, 11.1 volts um, as its medium uh, discharge. Uh, obviously when you charge a battery it goes up higher and it goes all the way to 12.6 I believe for this setup um, and th that's slightly important. We have a, uh, a 5 volt regulator going into the node MCU which is the Wi-Fi chip. It's a wrapper around the ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip which you can also program in Arduino and I did a little bit of programming uh, on that chip for this project but not much. I let this act as just a, a mediator and a pass-through. Um, you can operate a lot of the I.O. stuff on the chip uh, but I've had limited success or more, more heartache than I would want really um, any time I try to take something that's operating like special software and then like jam in other you know drivers per se or controls uh, into it or other libraries that it, it just didn't look like it was ready to work with yeah you probably can get it to work but you're probably going to be reading a lot up about like how the registers are set up and why this particular library doesn't do what it did yeah and then I think I would have maxed out the the IO pins or GPIO pins and if I wanted to add anything else to it it would have worked I was just like no I'm not doing that um, and in that vein, I followed a really easy paradigm just to ship this over. Uh, I took RX and TX and connected them to the Arduino over uh, a voltage regulator, or a logic re regulator, excuse me, or logic converter. I'll call it what I want, apparently. Um, <laughs> but it, uh, it goes ahead and just steps the voltage up or down as needed to make the, the connections work fine. Um, so, uh, thing to note, if you haven't ever used RX TX stuff with Arduino or uh, other boards, um, all the boards that I've come in contact with, you really would like to remember to unplug the RX TX lines when trying to load stuff to your controller because it won't work. Just a heads up there if you don't have that background. Um, that's the thing to know. Um, anyways, looking over this, the Arduino obviously talks to the motor driver, and the if you've ever opened up an RC car, uh, I got this one from Goodwill. Uh, it was actually the second car I looked at. Uh, I got a car and it was well underpowered. Um, but it had a lot of clearance on it. It was like a monster truck, but uh, it just really wasn't wasn't working for me. So I went back and I searched around and I found one that uh, looked to be actually relatively nice, uh, and it was there. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. Downside of it, didn't have a lot of clearance, and that became an issue. But I really, you know, I wasn't trying to like build a moon rover. I was just just a project. Those are general notes if you care about this, by the way. That's why I'm meandering in that particular direction. Anyways, everything common ground to the battery, voltage well, regulator in place. The peak voltage, 12.6 volts, is over what the uh, the Arduino is recommended for, with a maximum of 12 volts uh, on the supply, power supply in. I know that. Uh, I couldn't find my 12 volt regulator, uh, and I wasn't drawing a lot of current from this. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it, and it didn't break it. So, yay! But yeah, totally, you should put a 12 volt regulator in, in between this because it does go over current um, or over voltage. Excuse me, uh, when it's fully charged. As it is, the system doesn't really drain the battery that much. I had to turn down the uh, the motor quite a bit uh, because it was it, it would move too fast, and with the refresh rate being low, I wasn't or refresh rate and quality of the video being low, it wasn't giving me the the drivability feel that I really wanted. So I'm operating at like 35 percent or 40 percent of the the power of just this particular car. Uh, what I can do, like maximum speed or whatever. Anyways, uh, to get back to this, basically we can see Node MCU, RX TX lines, Arduino, motor driver, motors, power. Obviously, the uh, Node MCU here was going to connect to the web server. Uh, I do this via regular socket communications. I just jam together some stuff in a, uh, in a Spring project. Um, I don't do front end dev, uh, at least I haven't really done any of that professionally. So I just threw the front end up there. I'm a back end dude. And even here, I was, you know, it's a personal project, and I didn't think anyone would care. I was just doing it for me. I just dropped a, a socket server uh, behind the scenes and connected it to it. Uh, the web browser obviously connects in, uses regular, uh, uses web sockets to, to connect and communicate back and forth. And then you got yourself a nice mobile RC car 4G platform. Um, I stated in the comments earlier that uh, the I just to get the video. I just called in Google Hangouts and you know did that as a thing, and it works or whatever. But the the video quality dropped off pretty significantly after the first minute or so, minute or two, and also seemed to be correlated to when I stopped moving. 
Um, so I would have to guess there's an upper bounds in the amount of bandwidth, how long they're going to provide good bandwidth, and also some edge detection for uh, like when the the rate of data slows down, because as most of y'all probably know, when you have video going through something and it's streaming through, you don't actually update all of the uh, all of the individual pixels in that image if you don't need to, right? So they detect the drop in the the amount of signals, my guess, and then you just don't recover from that and it becomes shitty. So what you can do is go ahead and not use a phone, uh, use some sort of uh, other uh, SIM card module. Uh, there's plenty of them out there. I've got a friend that's played with them before. Um, uh, funny enough, that friend uh, worked with me on the the front end part of this, using the web socket and stuff. I could have looked it up, but he was for handy, and I was like, "Hey, bro, you want to like look at this?" And then uh, we went through that process, which is largely him plugging that stuff together. So uh, that's there. I'll ask him later if he wants his name attached to this or not. I think yes, but I'll, I'll provide it if that's the case for that. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's mostly it. Oh, uh, that's where I was going with that. Hey, set up your own uh, web video uh, client or stream, whatever you want to call it, from this device because don't rely on other people's services because they turn down the videos from far as I can tell. And if you're going to be operating a vehicle, it's much better to be able to see what's going on. All that being said as well, um, when I took this outside of my house, I had my girlfriend trail behind uh, to make certain that I didn't have any sort of issues with it. It's a light car. It was on private seat streets in a cul-de-sac when it wasn't busy and stuff. It really isn't going to cause any problems, but like I just don't, I don't need extra problems or complications, and neither do other people. So that's the uh, that's the whole car there. Um, I'm glad people liked it. Uh, hope everything goes well for y'all. I'll answer questions if you have questions. Um, just have a good day. Peace.